Well, guys, here we are. Johan's officially back in Skyrim. And you know what? He's honestly feeling pretty good about it. Um, for those who do not know, for those who didn't watch the last uh, big chunk of this LP... Huh, that's interesting. We'll talk to that guy in a second. Um... We just completed the Beyond Skyrim Bruma quest mod. At least, at least as much as I'm willing to have completed it so far. I know there's still a little more to do. Didn't buy my house. I didn't go on a couple of quests. But we basically completed that quest mod. And for those of you who don't want... Oh, that is cool. I didn't know he would do that. That's neat. Um, for those of you who don't want to uh, watch that because it's not in canon, you don't want to consider it part of this LP, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. You can do that if you want. I'm not going to do that. As that is to say, I'm not going to, for example, not use uh, where is it, Vitbrand, this the sword that we got from the Bruma main quest. Even though I don't really see myself using it a lot, let's just use that as an example. The gear, the the stuff that I got from from Bruma, I'm going to use in Skyrim, but. You don't have to watch that to watch this LP. Um, Johan did decide not to go um, and re reassume his old life in Cyrodiil after all, and did come back. That's all you really need to know. He is going to make an attempt to fight back against Alduin. That's all you need to know. Saying that, Johan has a few ideas of what he wants to do first, now that he's returned, to prepare himself for the fight to come. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be taking care of a few things. It may um, it may take a couple of episodes to take care of all the things on Johan's to-do list, but let's just say he has decided to be more proactive in his life. Now let's talk to this guy. What is it? Uh, show me your marvelous goods. Fine hides, hunting supplies, and special merchandise. Neat. I am like 90% sure that this is a guy added by the Bruma mod. And I just didn't see him on the way up to the gate. Looks like he just has leveled stuff, though. Horker arrows, that's from a mod, obviously. Um, I need healing potions, so I'm going to buy a healing potion from him. He's got a little bit of everything. Nothing I really need, though. Uh, thanks. See you around. Um, I could have sold him some stuff, too. I do need to sell some things, but for the time being, it's not that big a deal. So let's, um, let's head, uh, north a little ways and, um, get, get away from the, get away from the gate and let's kind of have a, like, a team meeting. Alright, guys, I am thinking what we should probably do first is go and take care of the couple of, uh, let's say unfinished bits of business that we had back in Solstheim. Um, I'm not going to go back and do everything that I didn't do during the Dragonborn DLC right now, but there's a couple of things I do want to finish. And uh, with Johan's abilities, getting to Solstheim is pretty easy. Alright. Oh wow, would you look at this. We're back in uh, Winterhold. This is where I teleported to because it's the closest teleport I have to Windhelm. Look at this. Oh, there's an enemy of some kind. It's a dragon, of course it is. Let me deal with this real quick. Yeah, it seems like it. That was pretty easy. Let's um take all the crap that these this guy's got. Why the heck not? And um, you can go ahead and uh, give me your soul too, there, buddy. Dead now. Uh, anyway, I came back to Winterhold here, and um, before Johan left, he totally had a conversation with um, 
the mage is at the mage college. Here, take this stuff from me. Yeah, back before he left, he totally had a conversation with the mages at the mage college, asking them to get up off their asses and come down here and tear down the old broken down wall that looked like it was about to fall on everybody and kill them, and uh, make some repairs to the town. And, um, it's weird looking. How can I help you? It's like a named horse. And um, it looks like he actually did, and it seems like it actually brought some life back into the town, because I'm seeing some new signs and stuff, and new buildings that weren't here before. There's even, like, the beginnings of a new wall, it looks like, is, is going up back there. It's very nice. And um, he's wondering if they took his, uh, his, his other advice to heart, and uh, actually started... Look at that. I actually started bringing in uh, new members to the college. He's half tempted to go up there and look around. He doesn't see any major changes to the building. Mm. He's getting kind of hungry too. But it's um it's getting kind of late, and he's hoping to get. That's a problem. I'll have to deal with that. It's mod conflict of some kind or something. Um, he would like to get to Windhelm. And b before he has to turn in for the night, so he can't really dwell here, um, which is me saying we will... Hey there! Hey there! Which is me saying we'll come and look at the new mod I installed in more detail later on. Um, so let's let's head down that way and uh, get the boat to Solstone. Ah, a bit too tired to make the journey last night. Johan decided to come into Windhelm and stay here overnight. He's actually going to sit down and no no you go away he's gonna sit down and have breakfast before he goes to he doesn't particularly like this place but it's better than nothing it's better than it's better than eating out on the road as far as he's concerned let's have some cornbread that sounds flippin delicious and um so you know I have anything that'll quench my thirst at the same time watermelon salad no longer thirsty and full excellent now I can leave Alright, let's get the heck out of here, guys, after a quick save, just because I'm paranoid. Now, Johan, and likewise, I know that, um, here. quick save real quick, there's, that you can get in, get to the docks through the city, but this just feels like the better alternative, alternative to him, like he's sticking, sticking it to the city of Windhelm, which is something that he enjoys doing. Northern maiden. <sighs> it actually feels pretty good to be back in Sol's time, honestly. May have taken some time on the boat to get here. But, um, there's still time in the day, and bleak as this place is, Johan did enjoy his time here. Uh, hey! Hey, buddy! Uh, now Glover, right? Yeah. Now that you've reopened our minds, don't let it go to waste. Yeah, yeah. Um, Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking for a smith, Dude, we know each other. Stop it. What do you have? Do you have happen to have a stall room sword? Cause I really still need one of those. Take a look. He has a stall room short sword, which is modded in. I've got the money, so I'm gonna buy it because why the hell not, right? It still bums me out. Um actually Bring your there's one thing I wanna do before I forget. Uh, let's go. Mark teleportation and put, um, which ones have I done so far? Alpha and beta. Let's put the gamma marker here. Alright. Sounds good. While I'm here, I also want to get on the forge. Hey, can I, um, can I hop on here for a second? Now, does it not let me look at armor types until I have the ability to craft them with, Need something. um, shut up, bugger. With, um, the dumb, dumb frickin' uh, Sky UI installed. That's dumb. Ugh, God. All right, I wanted to look and see what I needed for my um, my um, in-game armor to craft the actual armor itself. Am I, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I always go the wrong way out of this frickin' town. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's quick save first, and then let's go find Rallis and talk to him get that quest done today, if nothing else, and then uh, Johan will see about crafting his armor and maybe heading up to Skull Village and seeing if they have 
a star rim, like a full length star rim sword that he can use to craft his end game, or he can use to enchant and become his end game weapon. He wouldn't actually, I mean, I guess he might craft it up a little bit, but he wouldn't actually be crafting the sword. Though, depending on um, how much weaker the short sword is than the regular sword, come on, um, it might not be the end of the world to just use the short sword. Oh, shit. Damn it. Goddamn cliff racers that I've definitely seen and fought before. Such, such bothersome creatures. And at least their tails are pretty useful. So dumb. Now, this is from a mod, obviously. Because um, Skyrim kind of tricks you into believing that... Um, is that those those ma battling mages again, really? Um, Skyrim has some dialogue in it that would make you believe that... Cliff, um, I completely missed that one. The cliff racers are extinct. But that's not true. Only cliff racers, only the cliff racers that were on Vardenfell are extinct. They're, they, there's still cliff racers everywhere else. Um, are we fighting those mages again or no? It's just, it's another cliff racer. And what else? Where's, oh, there, that, it's this mage and the cliff racer that we're fighting. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, damn it. Get back here. Um, only the ones on Vardenfell are, are extinct. Um, Saint Jub, or Jub, or Jib, or however the hell you pronounce it. Um, seriously, how many of these things are there? I did not know this mod would add them literally everywhere. Um, he killed all the cliff racers on Vardenfell, but not all the cliff racers overall. In fact, um, let's, let's let Mjol handle this one, or Betty maybe. Um, Yo actually has dialogue where she talks about how one of the things she used to do uh, with her father, I think it was, was head to the Morrowind border and hunt cliff racers, right? So, obviously they're not all dead, because, I mean, I trust Yo, um, a character from the main game more than um, Jib, who was a character from the DLC. There's another one over there. Damn it. So freaking many of them. I might, I might have to see if there's an option in that mod to tone down their numbers. I guess this is accurate. They were pretty freaking common in Morrowind, weren't they? This is pretty fun, honestly. Fighting these things. They're very well made. This is, um... Oh, shoot. I don't remember his name. Um... Um, okay. Mihail, I think, is the mod maker's name. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of dead people over here. And, I mean, as annoying as Cliff Racers can be, they would not have been a threat to such a large group of people. That just isn't, isn't reasonable. Uh, come on. So let me, let me search the knapsack. Come on, I need those. Um. <laughs> uh, Dwemer eyeglasses is another mod. I'm not gonna. Actually, you know what? I'll take it. Why? Why the heck not? I'll take it. Um, it's another freaking cliff racer. Dear God. Um, I don't see Rallis anywhere. I definitely see. Yeah, here's a guard. It looks like somebody he hired to protect the miners. Um, somebody, somebody equipped like that should have been able to drive off a few of these things. So, and, and since I don't see Rallis or his body, I'm, um, I'm kind of guessing that it wasn't the Cliff Racers, unless he just ran off and left everybody, but, I don't know. That's one of his journals. I've been avoiding reading these, even though I picked a few of them up. I'll take that, because why the hell not? Um, because it's kind of rude, but... There's a lot of history in a place like There's, that. With, with everybody freaking dead here, I might as well. The Journal of Rallis Sedaris, Volume 23. He even numbers his freaking journals. Okay. Lord Azadal demands more blood. 
Okay, I don't think I need to read any more. Dude stabbed me in the fucking back. I don't appreciate that. <sighs> He's got to be in here, right? Um, we know we know that um, Azadol was somebody tied to this place because we found one of his artifacts. Did, did I only pick up one of the artifacts? I might have picked up another one too, but we found at least one of his artifacts in here, so... Rallus has to be in here, right? He's got to be, he's got to be somebody who who Rallus is trying to raise from the dead or steal his power or some bullshit like that. So freaking stupid. Why does this crap keep happening? Like, to me of all people, why? Why does it? Why does it keep happening? Why do people people keep trying to do this same stupid thing too? It never works. If it worked. If people try this kind of crap this often, and it actually worked, then y there'd be more, like, ancient Nord uh, monsters running around causing trouble everywhere, wouldn't there? <sighs> so freaking stupid. How far did they get in the excavation, at least? I hear the wall. It's uncovered. Okay, so they got that far at least. Can I get it from up here? Nah, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, um... I'm looking for more Draugr. I'm expecting more Draugr to show up. And start attacking me from behind or some, some shit like that. <sighs> Give me the word. Oh good, I'm hungry and I could use a nap. Excellent. Well, I can take care of one of those things now by eating. Ugh. Apple cabbage stew, I guess. No longer thirsty and I'm full. Excellent. It's a quick saving, so in case I die, I don't forget to do that again and have shitty stats. Alright, um. So we've got. That's still plugged up. We've got this place mostly opened. Where do we go from here? Um. I hear, I hear a Draugr. Is there like a. It looks like a. Is that a. Is that a. Drawbridge? How do I drop that? I, I genuinely don't remember this. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't remember how to get to the next area. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, from As a player, I, I, I don't even remember. Oh, okay. Over here. Right. Alright. Good. Um, these look like more miners. So, was he bringing people in here? Having them excavate a bit of this and then letting them die to the Draugr as part of this blood sacrifice? Something always felt weird about this to Johan. And some, 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 he, he can't even really describe it. Like, a, like an itch in the back of his mind told him not to worry about it. Um, now he's thinking he probably should have worried about it. Azadol's Ring of Necromancy, alright. That's not really what we were looking for. We were kind of looking for a way through, but... Hey, Barbus. Alright, let's quick save again. I kind of do want... I've been thinking about it, and I kind of do want all of the... Azadol's armor pieces, because I forgot about an ambient thing that it gives you. Scroll of Harmony, don't really care. Um, Emerald Geode. Why not? Alright. Only got one. That's fine, whatever. Um, look out for the trap, please. Don't kill me. It's mostly empty, so it seems like the Draugr population hasn't rebuilt itself since we were here last. Everything is basically the same as we left it. Yeah, it's because they're they're rotting zombies, you know. Seriously. Uh. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Move, please. Uh, is this a new way? This looks like a new way to go. Let's get a Betty up front. Quick save again. This was probably already open. I just didn't notice that it was open. 
Nothing there? Yeah, it looks like we've been down here before. Okay. Um, we're in combat, it looks like. These guys look like they're respawned. Um, Betty, sweetie. And that one just straight up died, alright. Hey, hey, hey. You don't get to do that. Only I get to do that. Seriously? Come on, guys. Get it together, please. Alright, how do I get them back in here? Um, there's a thing over there. Some kind of armor set in there, it looks like. Um, whale. So I guess this one shows me the other one that I need. Uh, whale. Okay. Whale, whale. Good. It's a snake. Okay. So that gets me to the armor piece. Can I, can I stop that? Because that's getting annoying. Grab that. Ah, oh, come on. Can I open this? No. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing next. I'm freaking over encumbered. I don't have anybody to give any crap to. <sighs> Dear Lord. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. That's And I, I remember it, actually. That's right. I have to do this to open the floor and that door up there. Run over here and turn this freaking thing off. It's starting to annoy the crap out of me. There we go. Let's quick save. Where are my friends? Guys? Guys, come here. I have some crap to give you. Come on. Uh, you alright? You having fun? What can I get for you? You can... Get me your pockets open, please. Jeez, I have so many freaking gems. Look at all this shit. Alright, let's give him some gems. Might be enough to actually put me underweight. Don't think Feynall will be dumb enough to try to run off with all my stuff, right? Well, that's that thing I got from that lady back in Burma. Alright, that got my carry weight down pretty considerably, and a lot of that is probably stuff that I should have handed off to a follower or left somewhere a long time ago. Let's quick save again now that I got all that done because that took a little while. And um, head down here, hopefully without falling because it looks like it's a good ways down. Hope there's no spiders in here. I'm tired of dealing with spiders. You know, what did I just say about falling? Here, Lord. Some health potions. I do need health potions. Um, I'm not going to worry about probably other kinds of potions right now, but I do need health potions, and I will be picking those up whenever I can. All right, Betty, come on, get him. Set set the oil on fire. Oh, hey, I didn't even see you. How's it going? All right, I guess she's not going to set the oil on fire. I was hoping she would. Is he dead? All right, he's dead. Is that stall room? Let's see if I can uh, mine this, but it's been janky in my game, so I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Yeah, I actually managed to get it. Good. Got like three solid pieces out of there, which is pretty nice. All right. Um, how do I open this now? There's the pull string there, and there's these two things here. Is there some indication in here as to what I'm supposed to be doing, like around behind here or something maybe. What did you have, by the way? Nothing, really. All right. Poison that I guess he could have technically used against me. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Is there something in there? That's neat. That was weird. That's the depth of field. Um, it looks like my helmet. It's not going to be as good as my helmet. 
it looks like my helmet. Let's see what happens when I pull this. Okay. Oh, did that set all that on fire? Sorry, guys. You're all right. You're all badasses. All right. Um. Like, I, I legit don't know where the where the answer is. Is it like around here? Huh. I'll just try them all until I figure it out. So it's not bird, bird, or bird whale. Is it bird snake? No, it is not bird snake. Okay. Let's see. Is it um? Is it snake whale? Nope, not snake whale. Come on, maybe it's whale whale. Nope. Okay. So let's see. Maybe it's snake bird. Nope. <sighs> maybe it's snake snake. There it is. It's snake snake. Okay. How the hell was I supposed to know that? As it all is, helmet vision. Oh, seriously? Come on. Freaking stupid. Oh, that's... There's, like, like spears in the walls, too. Okay. Um, so what does that even do? Azadol's um, Helm of Vision. Your concentration and rune spells cost 25% more, but can be cast at a greater range. That's actually not terrible. That's probably, I think, my favorite of these, um, other than the, the boots. Um, this one, enemies who strike you with a melee attack have a small chance of being paralyzed. That one's pretty good, too, I guess. Um, they're just not very good armor pieces, like, in terms of damage. Uh, resistance is the, is the main problem that I have with them. Alright, now that we've gotten that open, let's, um, quick save again. What weapon are you using? Morales! God damn it, dude! Oh, is he dead? Did Rallis just die? Okay. That's great. Um, you guys handle the big, scary, floaty guy. I'll fight these idiots. Um, where were the other... Oh, there, he's, he's raising the dead, too. Okay. Um, these are the miners that were killed. That's great. I'll just, I'll just finish him off. He can't let, he can't hurt me much anyway. He's a fire mage. Come on. Like, he's got a freaking flame cloak going on, and I'm barely feel feeling it at all. Um, there's a Draugr behind you. I'll get it. Or, or not. Did I get it or not? I honestly couldn't tell. Oh, okay. He's, uh... He's dead, th dead then, I guess. That is nice. That is almost a thing that Johan would, um would wear, except it's freaking ugly. Confront Rallis. Oh, Rallis is still alive. Um, Fandal, sweetheart, I'm right behind you. need to give you a thing so I can what move. Yeah, that's a little better. Need anything, you just say the Rallis? Oh, God. What happened? What have I done? Okay. What is going on here? I, I don't remember. Ever since I got here to, to uh, Colby, I've heard whispers, voices, thoughts, imaginings. They've only gotten louder since I've stayed. Pounding, driving. A couple of times I blacked out. It was... It was just... Before the Draugr woke up. Oh, God. Did you kill these miners? Do you remember? I don't know. I... Maybe. It's what... It's what he wanted. He just needed their energy. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But maybe I... Oh, God. Alice. You have to believe me. Shit, man. He sounds really sincere, and... I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Johan... 
is uh, since since that that Azadol guy died, he's starting to wonder why he was so invested in this whole excavation after the first group was killed. So maybe maybe that itching in the back of his mind telling him to keep doing this. Maybe that was Azadol too. Who freaking knows? Um, I believe you. Just don't come back here. Of course. I don't even want to hear the word barrel again. Ever. <sighs> I'll go to Ravenrock. And you... You won't measure this to anyone. If you see me there, just give a nod and I'll lend you a hand if you need it. It's... It's the least I can do. Just, uh, Keep this quiet. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on you, dude. Don't forget that. <sighs> yeah, you know, thanks. I, I got that. Uh, let's see what these guys had, if anything. There's really... Really no point in leaving anything behind. Alright, that's pretty much everything. I noticed that there was an opening here behind this. Uh, Draugr... Ooh, nice. Uh, Draugr casket. And there's a chest back here, too. Check it out. Um, that's worth a lot. Grab those. Interesting. Don't know why that's here. I'm not gonna take it either, I just don't care. Um, got some more stuff for one of you guys. Actually, I'm, I'm giving Mjol some books. Didn't I have... Is this it? Benefactor's note? Um, yeah. I found this in the Therina's Cutter base. I never actually looked at it. Um, let's go ahead and read this. I should have done it during the actual part of the Let's Play about Ruma, but what are you going to do? Uh, Therina, for the final time, I do not care about the issues or resistance that you're facing. I don't care how much coin you're making. Let, let me repeat. I do not, in the slightest, um remotest bit, damn, um, care. I'm funneling you gold because your actions are convenient to me, because they help me meet my own ends. I couldn't care less about yours. Tharn. Interesting. That sounds like Therina and her cutters were getting help from a larger uh, bandit organization. I, I don't remember anybody named Tharn from Bruma from, like, among the characters I met while playing through Bruma. So this is probably a tease for the full release of the mod. That's interesting. It explains, in part, how they were so successful. Because they were getting help from someone else. I mean, it is a benefactor's note. After all, it's very interesting. Um, I, th I think I'm underway now. Yeah, okay. Anything else here while we're here? Alright. Let's, um... Oh, you're kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. Here's more treasure. Let's focus on this first. Yeah, you have a few times. Don't be dramatic. Uh, I didn't mean to take the freaking shield. It's, um, it's probably useful. Um, let's go put that ebony shield in here. There we go. Um, put a couple other things in there, too. Dang it. Seriously? Uh, I don't have time for this today, but... Uh, I want the knowledge in that book. <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting the literal end of time here. Uh, this, this... Yeah. Uh, thanks. I'm pretty sure we got them all at this point, though. Um, the knowledge in this book could really help... Help with that. It's a quick save since we're technically about to zone. Oh dear God. Filament and filigree. Interesting. <sighs> All right. Don't see anything yet. We're in the black books in knowledge. That's what I intend to do. Thanks. Weird floating lights up there. It's got me kind of nervous. Three thieves. 
Um, soon it was a skilled look. Maybe he's one of our. Red, I'm over encumbered already. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, God, I should have unloaded more stuff before I came in here. Did I not get Azadal's bracers? Ugh, seriously? I don't want to go back through the whole freaking place and get them. It's freaking annoying. Alright, I dropped some crap. I ate some ingredients. That should put me back under. Looks like I have to go this way. Uh, what? Oh, great. <sighs> the darkness kills me. Wonderful. Freaking. Freaking great. That. That sounds like a book on the Elder Scrolls. Ugh. I just. I don't have the carrying space for it. Ugh, this is so dumb. Let's get a Betty up front. See if she aggroes anything. Yeah, it looks like there's something. Ah, oh, it's a freaking. <sighs> is that a lurker up there? You come here. Freaking die, man. Let's get a. <sighs> freaking close wounds out. myself up a little bit. Get her back out, because she's probably going to die pretty soon. And, and there's a seeker behind him, too. Shoot. Oh, and the freaking tentacle things. Great. Great. Close wounds back out. Come on. Come on. Dang it! Ugh, dear God. What's going on behind me? Okay, Betty's dead. The lurker's coming for me. Let's, um... Get back here. Let's get into this light. Um... Get another Betty out. Um, except I can't. Frickin'... Come on. Come on! Get a potion going. I'm still running low on potions, though. That's really freaking annoying. Come on, just die. Thank you. Dear God. Where's that seeker? Get my clothes wounds back out. <sighs> freaking die, please. Now, stop duplicating yourself. It's freaking annoying. Thank you. So low on Magicka. And that, that darkness is probably going to hurt me again. Let's, um... Shoot. Get that going, I guess. Run through here. Yep. Great. Doesn't do a ton of damage. It's still annoying. Restoration went up again, finally. Ah, oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah, I didn't do anything to him. Didn't expect it to, honestly. Ugh, come on. So freaking annoying. Ugh. No, I hadn't actually taken any damage yet, had I? back. Oh, my stamina is low. Alright, this isn't... This isn't as bad as I expected it to be, honestly. Alright, he's dead. What did you have? You owe me some shit. Um... I don't care about the rest of that. Ugh. Oh, go away, Hermaeus Mora. Jerk. So this one feels kind of like just a frickin' run for the goal kind of place. Conjure Seeker. Pretty sure I have that. I have healing hands for sure. 
Those are a common and a lesser and a black. I don't care about any of those. All right. Grab those, grab that. Um, can I read this? It looked like it was, it was a skill book, but I guess I've already read it. I don't care about that. Um, that might be useful. I have to remember that I have, um, I have Ease Burden, too. I, I should probably remember that. Let's quick save and keep going. Try to get this done this episode, even if it runs a little long. Oh no, this is the end. Okay. Really? That was easy. Alright, give me your give me your stuff. What do you have? Secret of strength, secret of arcana, secret of protection. What is what do these do? Um power attacks cost new stamina for thirty seconds. It's not bad. Uh, spells cost new magicka for thirty seconds. Okay, so what does this do? You take half damage for 30 seconds. Huh. Well. Those are all good. I'd actually forgotten what these were. I think I'm going to do Arcana. Just because. Alright. Let's, uh... Quick save again since I am actually zoning this time. Alright. Come on. There we go. All right, well, we have more of Hermaeus Moore's knowledge. Where'd they go? Whatever, they'll catch up. Is there still more to this place? There's some stall room over here. Do I, I don't think I really have room for it, though. What does this do? Uh, oh, it's a, it's a staircase. That's kind of cool. All right. How can I help you? Uh, you can follow me out of here and stop disappearing when I go into the stupid books. Where are we? Okay. We're in that main room. It's just a section of it that... Oh, okay. So that's where that opening in the floor was that we couldn't open. It led down to that. Um, I never checked with the... Um, shot was that I got here either. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Um, I think it was I think it was probably Cyclone. It was probably the second word of Cyclone. Hmm. Which isn't a bad shout. It's just I like Unrelenting Force a lot better. Alright, well, let's go ahead and head out of here then. <sighs> this was I guess not the worst thing. Um, I really should go look for the Azadol's gauntlets, but Johan in character would have no reason to know they're here, and have no reason to really care about looking for them, because he doesn't know what they do. So I can't justify it, unfortunately. <sighs> Which sucks. It's getting late. I should be able to... Oh, Rallis took his camp with him. Alright, I was going to say, I should be able to sleep here and just not worry about going back to town, but... I guess we're going back to town. Stop doing that, please. It's really freaking annoying. <sighs> Alright. Well, at least they didn't take any freaking time. My friends should be here soon. Uh, I guess... I guess that'll be about it for this episode. Counselor Morvain is the only reason Ravenlock has survived all these years. Good for him. You should pay your respect. I have. He likes me. Um, I don't need to go to the... Um, the inn, do I? Because I have a house here. I almost forgot. Um, yeah, I'm getting tired. Okay. Um, let's go get my, um, ease burden out then. Since I keep forgetting that I have it. Get my nightingale blade back out too. Alright, head up here and sleep. Alright, so it is late the next day in game, as you can see up there. Um, and Johan has completed his work in Solstein. There's Feindal there. But if you look over here, Mjol is now wearing a more feminine version, um, admittedly. But I still, it is still Johan's old armor, including his old helmet. Because Johan has taken the time 
and 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 by yeah, there's a cliff racer there too, and utilized Hermes Bohr's knowledge such that he was able to create this new helmet in the same style as the one he's been wearing, new dragon bone and ebony armor. It's called um, dragon bone ebony steel armor. It's from a mod. It's my favorite armor mod of all time. Um, just because it's it feels so at home in the game, and yet looks so good. Um, he has created this armor. His armor rating is now up to um, uh, 437, which is not the cap, but it's it's not far from it. It's about halfway between where he was before and the cap. He now wears uh, the armor of Johan Abbott, which he named after himself, which gives him various boosts um, that are appropriate to his character. And he also has... Uh, where is it? Here it is. A new sword, a new Stallroom sword. Finally, Glover had a Stallroom sword in stock. Um, I named it Storm of the North. It has 31 points of frost damage and 31 points of chaos damage, as well as 10 points of fire damage from Fiery Soul Trap and the Soul Trap effect. And it's, it's a complete beast. Um, it's not the strongest sword I could make in the game. I could have I could have done a couple of exploits and gotten it stronger. Um, I can still smith it up stronger if I find a good enough smithing potion. But um, it's it's still a pretty darn good weapon. Johan, Johan's feeling pretty good about himself. He's feeling ready to head back and get a couple of other things done before he goes off and embraces his destiny. And um, to sort of signify that, when he was using Hermes Mora's knowledge to reallocate his perks back, he did not put perks into Sneak this time. He just didn't, he just decided not to worry about him. And instead, uh, there it is. He put perks into Speech. Speech mastery. Um, items now sell for 10% more and intimidation's more effective. And also, and the universe listens. Shouting now helps restore his health, stamina, and magicka. And it gives him speech experience. He's embracing his role as the Dragonborn. And you know what? He's kind of proud of that. The more he thinks about it, the more he's kind of proud of that. Uh, whether he fails or not, whether Alduin manages to carry out his destruction of time or not, um, Johan's pretty proud of himself for getting all this done and for making the choice to return and keep fighting. Um, I did have some footage, some uh, like heavily cut down footage of him getting all this stuff done, of him enchanting and crafting and everything. Um, but that's bad clipping there. But it, it accidentally got deleted. And it, it was only like five minutes of just like a montage of him doing stuff. Actually, where is the guy over here? I have some East Empire pendants to sell him. Are you... Is he here somewhere? I don't know what it's did. busier now that things are starting to look up. Yeah, here we go. I am. Here you go. Thanks. Alright, so that that's, wasn't really anything super important, but it was something... Um, everybody's days are ending. Um, yeah, so next time we're going to head back to Skyrim and go do a couple of quests in preparation for going off There's and rejoining with the Blades. I'm, I'm really excited. It's nothing. Oh, see him talking. I'm really excited about this. It's it's like a new, a new, a new chapter of the LP, and I'm really excited to be doing it. Hope you guys are excited, too. That said, guys... Um, if you enjoyed this video at all, please help me out, like, and subscribe, and share the video with anyone else who you think might also enjoy it. That's very important. Please, please do that. Please share it. I'm, I would be eternally grateful. Um, either way, this has been AJ22 and the new Johan. And, and we will both, um, well, I will. He, he won't. I will talk to you guys. Later.